So in front of you here, you can see two glass examples. One is just a standard principal shader with a transmission value of one. And over here, we have the same thing, but we've added a whole bunch of extra nodes to add texture and bump and you know mess around with our roughness a little bit to create this sort of broken, um, kind of pitted post-apocalyptic glass. It's a kind of make damaged glass. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how we make this shader. And you can see this is our node setup here that kind of gets us this result. So I hope you guys enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial. I will be uploading this file to my Patreon. So if you guys want to check that out, and then you can use this um, worn glass shader in your projects if you want to, or you can just go ahead and watch this tutorial and make this shader yourself. So let's hop in and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we have a new scene open up in Blender. Let's set up a simple little scene. So I'm just going to delete the default cube. Let's go shift A. I think a good object is just a UV sphere. And we want this to be hollow. So we're going to go add, and first of all, just go sub, get a subdivision surface modifier. And then we're going to go add modifier and just search and get a solidify. And that way, this has a little bit of thickness to it. So it's not meant to be solid. Okay, so there we go. Awesome. And we're going to right click and go shade smooth. And, uh, you know, you can press zero during your camera view. And how you want to set up your camera and lighting is completely up to you because um, the, obviously the aim here is the shader. So let's go over to our render settings. We're going to change it to cycles. And if you have a GPU, I always recommend you work with a GPU. And then under the um, Mac samples under the render, just make sure to set that low for now. Let's go with something like 50 should be fine because we do have the denoising enabled. And then um, some basic lighting. Let's just go shift A. Let's just go to our light options. A few area lights are usually pretty good. So I'm going to bring one up, maybe give it a strength of like 90, scale it up a bit. And now let's go Z and go rendered. And you know, so we have something like this. Cool. So now let's just kind of do the typical thing where you grab the sphere or object, you go to your materials and you go new to create a material and you can call it glass, right? And there are, you know, traditional ways you can add glass. Traditionally, you'd go over here and you'd go and get a glass BSDF. Um, you bring the roughness down to your liking. Um, but, you know, more commonly these days, people will just go and stick to the principal shader. So just a principal BSDF. And you would just go down to the transmission here, increase the weight to one, and then just, you know, bring your roughness down. And that's kind of how we make glass in Blender. And the default IOR, that's the index of refraction, is generally, you know, at about 1.4 around there for glass. Um, another thing I'm going to do, this is optional, but if you want to go to your world settings, you can just go to the color, go to environment texture. If you have a HDRI, you can find one. If you don't, you can just use the default sky texture, but I have a HDRI, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it in my library, but that's, you know, optional. Okay, cool. So now let's turn this boring kind of plain glass material into something that actually looks aged or weathered. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my shading workspace. I'm going to my camera view. I'm gonna grab this glass ball, move it over. And I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate. Just create another one. And for now, we're just gonna go Control B. And that's just gonna allow us to drag over our camera and just limit our render to this specific section. And with this second duplication, let's just go ahead and click on this little two over the glass. That's gonna make it um, a duplication of that glass. So let's just call it glass underscore and um, let's just call it um, damaged. There we go. And now we can start doing our magic with the nodes. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is add some noise. So let's go take our principal shader. We're gonna go shift A search. Let's just get a noise texture, right? And we're gonna take this noise and take the color and plug it into the roughness, right? And for now, let's just go Z and go material preview just to have a look and see what this looks like. And what we're going to do is we need to take this and go shift a search and get a color ramp. So let's convert this noise texture to black and white values using a color ramp. And we can also tighten up these values as you can see here in the viewport by dragging these two sliders together. And at the moment it's a little bit too much with the um, roughness. So we're going to grab this lighter value and just make it a bit darker. So we don't have as intense of a, kind of matte effect. So bring it down to about something like this, kind of like a mid gray. 
And at the moment, we're gonna take our detail here and just drag it all the way up to 15. And roughness, we're gonna to take to about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 around there. So if you now go Z and we go rendered, it might be hard to tell um, without actually rendering it, but we now have some noise. In fact, um, I'm just gonna go Control and Shift and just left click on my um, principal shader just so you can kind of visually see this. This is our kind of noise that we've added here, like this, right? And it's kind of adding something to this glass. It's making it look less perfect, but we're really gonna take this even a step further, okay, by adding in some actual little cracks and pitting in the glass. So how do we do that? So let's go shift a search and let's get a Veronoi. So type in Veronoi. We're gonna get a Veronoi texture. And let's take that and plug the color for now into the normal of the principled. And let's go shift a search and get a bump. Place it on here and make sure that the color is going to the height. And we wanna convert that to black and white. So we can go shift a search and just get a color ramp. Again, place it over here on this cable. And now once again, we're gonna tighten up these values over here by bringing them together. Make this one much more gray. There we go. And let's just take the scale here. Let's just make it something like three. And the detail, once again, we'll take it all the way up to 15 and the roughness, we'll leave it as it is, um, like so. So let's just take this. This is gonna add some bump now. And we also wanna just take the strength and make it something like 0.1 for now under the bump. So now let's quickly go Z and go rendered. And already that's starting to really add something to it, okay? So for now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go Control B, just drag over these and let's just render these two glasses side by side so you can already see the difference. I'm just gonna go render image. And already you can see we have these nice kind of little pits and imperfections in here, okay? But let's take that even further. So what I'm gonna do, I'll actually for now, take these two and just move them down. And what I'll do is I'll go shift a search, just get a noise texture. And I'll actually take the noise texture for now and just put the color into this ramp here instead and just take the Verona and move it to the top. So let's just set this here to a scale of three, just like we did with the Verona. A detail of 15. There we go. Place it in here. And then let's take this Verona Let's take the scale to 12. Let's take the detail size to 0.6. And the roughness, we're gonna set at at two by typing in two over here. And we're gonna come here and change F1 to distance to edge. There we go. And now we're gonna go shift A search and go color and get a color ramp. We're gonna plug the distance into the factor here. And then let's take this white value and drag it all the way down so we get really close to this black value and then drag the black value up just a little bit. So we have something that looks like this. And now if we take this and we plug it into the height, now let's see what this looks like if we go Z and we go rendered. Now we've got these nice looking cracks in our glass. Pretty nice. I might just take the scale down to something like nine. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix these two together, this color ramp, uh, with the Veronoi and this noise texture here. So we're gonna go shift a search and get a mix, get a mix color, place it over here. And now these two colors from the color ramps are gonna go into A and B. And let's give it a strength of 0.45. And we're gonna change it from mix to subtract. So let's just go to subtract. There we go. And now what we're gonna do with these guys being mixed and going into the bump, Let's just go ahead and give that a side-by-side -side test render to see how it looks compared to a smooth bit of glass. So I'm gonna go render image. And there we have it. Already that glass is looking a lot better. Um, so yeah, you can kind of mix, mess around with how you mix these um, different shaders together. But I think just having this already adds a lot of extra detail. Um, one thing you can always do is bump the bump strength down a little bit. So it's not quite as intense. But that is how we can add kind of damage. So let's make that look a little bit better by just adding in a background, just so we can kind of see it a little bit better. So I'm just gonna add a plane in the background, kind of just roughly scale it up, doesn't have to be perfect. And just give that a shader, make it darker. And let's give it one final test render just to see what it looks like with a darker background. 
But there you have it. There we have some pitted, slightly kind of fractured broken glass. And um, yeah, I'm going to be uploading my original to Patreon. This is the one over here. It's the exact same thing over here. I just kind of, you know, as always, I'll tweak it until I get it exactly where I want it. But this is the result that I got. And I've obviously added a little bit more here in the background. But this is how you can really make your glass um, look older, more worn out, a bit more pitted, a bit more post-apocalyptic. And um, yeah, this is hopefully something you guys can use in some of your project. We want to kind of make glass just damaged and look worn down. And um, I'll see you next time for another tutorial.